Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And in this lesson, I want to show you uh, using Toon Boom Animate how to do, uh, we're going to be continuing our pose to pose lessons. And this is going to be a blob. I'm going to be working on doing that whole little way of counting one, five, three, two, four. Show you how to do the keyframes, uh, the breakdown, and then doing tweens. And I also want to show you how to add in more frames if you decide, oh, yeah, it's not moving smooth enough. Um, you can kind of look at this and you're thinking, eh, that's only five frames. I think I want to actually have it look a little bit smoother than that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So let's do a new document. And we'll call this blob one. I'm going to go ahead and use my little 720 15 frames per second here. And yeah, we'll go ahead and save. All right. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my, got my brush. I'm going to select frame one. Um, nothing too particular about the brush that I'm using. Uh, just a nice little 5 to 45 as far as the um, pressure sensitive there. So the first frame, what I want to draw is just a basic little circle. Uh, I'm going to undo that because I don't like that one. Let's see. That's better. All right, so that's frame one. And then we're going to select frame five. You can see it's frame five right there. I'm going to turn on my onion skin and make sure that I can see the other frame. Now, by frame five, what I want to have happen is this circle is actually... Um, a little bit smaller. It's given up some of its mass. Okay. And what has happened is it has parented a little child there. Okay. So we're saying by frame one and frame one, it's here, but by frame five, it's actually, it's created a little spawn there. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select frames two, three, and four. And what I want to do is I'm going to empty these frames. So I'm going to do Option Shift R, and that's Alt Shift R on PC. And I'm going to make sure I can see everything I'm working on. I need to be able to, I want to draw, work on frame three. Now, working on frame three, we need to basically be able to see what's happening in frame one as well as what's happening in frame five. Okay, so frame one is a keyframe and frame five is a keyframe. And frame three is gonna be what's referred to as the breakdown. All right, so what's the shape that would actually end up being, being here? So what I'm gonna do is use this as a guide and I'm just gonna simply draw this out. Kind of make like a little, almost like a little bowling pin here. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the shape I want to go for. And actually, I think I'm going to cheat a little bit because I think I do want that to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to grab here and kind of tighten that in a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. So literally, I'm actually making it go between those two there. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and select frame two. And we're going to be drawing what's the shape that's between frame one and frame three. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab our paintbrush. All right. So again, using this as a guide. All right. And I feel like I'm doing a lot of cheating here, but that's kind of a little thing I'm doing and you can get away with a little bit because you're working digitally. And let's see, I think I also want to shrink this again. Bring that in a little bit. Now what I'm doing, if you notice, I'm doing a little cheat here. I'm still on my brush tool, but I keep holding down my command key. That would be control on PC. Um, and so I can actually instantly have that my tool to work with there. 
and looks about right. Okay. Now, last but not least, we're going to go to frame four, and we're going to draw what's between uh, frame three and frame five. Well, there's a lot of information here, so I'm going to adjust my onion skin. I'm going to move this over a little bit and then tighten this up and move my playhead back to um, this one area here and adjust my onion skin here to start and stop of that so I can just have, okay, I'm just concentrating on these two frames. What's going to be the shape that I draw in between these? Make sense? All right, now um, first and foremost, I think I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a, almost like a little teardrop shape here. Okay. And the same thing here. All right. I think I like that. I think I'm going to undo that one. All right. Let's try that again. All right, so not terribly bad. Again, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheat here. Uh, let's grab our little contour editor and make that look a little more like it's coming from the right direction. Okay, just gonna bend that up a little bit there. All right, pretty good. Now, I'm gonna scrub this and see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn off my onion skin a second here just so we can see. Not bad. All right, what I wanna do is go ahead and extend that last frame. Let's do 40, because we're gonna do um, some interesting things as far as our timing. So I'll do F5, and I'll also shorten how long that's going to play. All right. Now, uh, let's click on play. All right, not bad. Let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. First and foremost, um, I think what I want to do is let us see that first frame a little bit longer, okay? So I'm gonna highlight uh, all the other frames here. I'm just gonna move this ahead, maybe at about frame 10. So now if we play this, not bad. All right, now the other thing we can do is we might be thinking, okay, well that's it's not bad, but you know I think it's uh it's going a little bit fast there. So you can do different things like you can extend the exposure. So I can select a frame and simply do my plus sign, and that's going to extend that one, extend that one, and extend that one. So it's actually on twos a little bit there. All right, now, for the fun part, let's say, um, well, yeah, we did extend that, but we're not exactly happy. Maybe it's a little, looking a little bit too stiff now. So here's the fun part. I've got this frame and I've got this frame. So we can literally come here and do like we did before. We'll do Command Shift, oops, excuse me, Option Shift R, and we'll empty that out. Let's turn on our onion skin. And literally, we can go, all right, well, what's the shape between these two? And you can do this to your heart's content um, and get it exactly the way you want it to be. Let's undo that real quick. Um, so let's go here. All right. So I'm going to use my little keyboard to use my less than and greater than signs. All right. Now, we have another one here. 
So we can grab this particular frame and we'll do Option Shift R and we'll draw what's between these two. So you can keep on doing this. It's kind of um, like the work has already been shown. It's already showing you exactly where you would do these two things here. Oh, not that bad. Let's see. Probably about here. Okay. And that second one's a little weird there. So let's move that a little bit. And let's get our eraser tool. Let's turn off our onions again. And let's see if I did that right. Nah, that's a little bit messed up there. So let's get rid of this. And let's turn our onion skin back on. Okay, so. Gonna work on that a little bit more. So these would almost be touching, I guess. So again, it's kind of like you keep playing around with this until you get it exactly where you want it to be. And let's say, all right, we're having a ball with this one right here. Yeah, see what I did there? We're having a ball. Ha ha. Okay, let's tilt that and bring you down about there. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the other part of this. What we can do with this little snap here, let's go in and um, add in some lines. let everyone know that that broke right there and we go to the next frame and this is the fun part it's called animation and we're going to go here And on this one, what we're going to do is create one more empty frame. So do Option Shift R and we'll draw in nice little thing there and we'll do some dots and then those should disappear and I know what you're thinking let's see how ugly this is going to look not too bad alright now the cool thing is as ugly as those drawings were we're going to be seeing them for a fraction of a second and let's go ahead and hit play. All right, and there you have it. Okay, so you can kind of really start playing around with um, the whole little thing of uh, how many frames you want to actually do, how smooth you want to make it, or how, how sharp you want to make something. Um, and actually, one last thing. I do want to do one last little trick here. Um, what I want to do is before this actually goes out, I actually want to have it kind of uh, do a little bit of recoil, if you will. Um, I'm going to empty this frame. Let's do uh, 
from Option Shift R. And what I want to do is have this ball go backwards, like it's kind of doing a squash before it stretches out. Okay, so. I'm not there, not that much. But basically, it's going to get a little bit smaller. Almost like a little Pac Man there. Let's see if I can go in and stretch this out a little bit. All right, let's play and see what happens. All right, we'll stop that and we'll bring this back one frame and let that extend, that extend a little bit more. All right, so it's like it's pulling back a little bit and quite frankly, I probably could actually do that a little bit better. Um, but that's the beauty of this. You can keep going back and tweaking things. Um, and I would definitely suggest you want to actually sketch out or either work in black and white or even working in um, blue first. And make sure your animation looks good before you start going in and trying to add color and everything like that. But we're basically doing this whole little pose to pose. You actually are set up your keyframes, do where your breakdown is, and then you can start working on what your tweens are. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful and uh, try this out. If you do anything with it, uh, definitely go ahead and respond to this and uh, send us a link. We'd love to see what you're working on. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.